Um, Mark, please come up here. Mark is a wildlife hero. And, and thank you, Mark, from the bottom of my heart for all the help you have given the CRT. And uh, I think you are another star. It should be Lord Rose <laughs> of... We're all going to be lords by the end of the day. <laughs> uh, the thing about Mark is he's, he lives in a region of Norfolk and it's a something or other hills and there's not a hill in sight. It's a small hill. <laughs> a small hill. Thank you, Robin. Thank you for that fine introduction. Um, as Robin said, I'm a, I'm a trustee of CWCRT. Um, I've known Robin for a number of years. In fact, I first met him in the late 80s when he was a South Cam's district councillor. And I, I actually found him to be quite an objectionable fellow. Um, I can remember we, we had a, we had a stand-up row in a, in a community center somewhere about some conservation issue. I think it was a water-related issue. And, and I lost that argument. And actually thinking back, he was right and I was wrong. So, well done. Um, we, we actually became firm friends after that. And he then moved on to become a TV presenter, a, uh, a writer, um, a pundit, and an eco-warrior. And in 1993, he founded CRT. Also in 1993, I joined the organization that I'm with now, Fauna and Flora International. And, and about five years later, um, as Robin uh, mentioned, uh, we had the, the challenge of saving a piece of critically endangered habitat in South Africa called Fainbos. Um, it's a unique floral kingdom. It's one of the most biodiverse king flower kingdoms in the world. And it was up for sale. And it was going to be a go to viticulture. Now, I don't mind a glass of wine myself, but all in the right place. And, and this was not the right place. And the other thing, that the other bidders were, were golf course owners or developers. And just at that time, Robin rang me up. And he said, David Bellamy's told me your plight, that you've got this unique piece of habitat in South Africa, and you need to raise about six or 700,000. And I said, that's correct. He said, how are you doing? And I said, well, you know, we've got... It's not going, is it? Sorry. That's what Fainboss looks like. So there's some proteas in there, which we were talking about earlier on. Um, so I said, well, we've got about two-thirds of the money, but um, we're under the hammer now because um, we're up against a time deadline and, and we're going to lose it. So he said, well, we've just come into uh, a legacy, <clears throat> so we're, we're cash rich at the moment and we don't have a project. So if you can guarantee you'll pay it back within the year, we'll, we'll loan you the money. And so he loaned us the money and we bought the property. Now, as I said before, it was only a thousand acres, but that thousand acres, on that thousand acres, we were able to create a model sustainable flower harvesting farm, which we've now exported that, those techniques right across the Fainboss. So currently, as I stand here, there's over 100,000 acres being cropped and the flowers you'll probably recognize are now in Marks and Spencers and have been for a number of years and are their biggest, big, biggest bestseller bouquet. Now, it hasn't only just um, made a big impact on the biodiversity, it's also made a big impact on livelihoods and, and the standard of living of the people living there. The first thing we did was give proper employment contracts to people. Um, we also hired women for the first time um, and they became the bouquet makers and they were much better than the men at that. We also put in a creche so they, that they could work and we also provided education for the children. This has been a great uh, conservation and social exercise and a really great success and it wouldn't have happened, I suspect, without the help of CRT and Robin. And it's probably something that you don't know about because it's, it's not in the annual reports that you will read. Um, so thank you, Robin, and thank you, CRT, for that. It didn't stop there. A few years later, um, there was another 
call um, for a land purchase. And this was in, in Kenya, which out, uh, after Lulu and the British countryside is, is of course Robin's great love. And we were offered um, a ranch in Kenya, 100,000 acres, which was gonna be carved up into small holdings. It was owned in those days by uh, Lonro, remember Tiny Rowlands, Lonro. Um, and prior to that, it was owned by Adnan Khashoggi, the arms dealer. So it had a sort of interesting history. But it was one of the best ranches in East Africa. Um, but most of it was, uh, at that time, a cattle ranch. So with the help of CRT and, and Robin, Robin came out and had a look. Um, he was always getting into trouble whilst he was there, but always getting caught. <laughs> So, he has got tiny little legs, hasn't he? <laughs> so we, but this time the bill was bigger. It was $23 million. Um, so we, we had to go further afield than normal. And, and Robin was great. He came out, he wrote articles, he promoted the whole purchase of it. Um, we managed to purchase it in two months. We raised the $23 million in two months. And, and we secured it. Um, just in the nick of time, because again, we were up against the deadline. Um, this, Robin actually came out and celebrated on his, by this time he'd met Lulu, and they came out and celebrated on their honeymoon, and this is <laughs> the, the honeymoon. Now, <clears throat> this is, this is Mrs. Khashoggi's bed. Um, Funny old honeymoon, this, isn't it? Either side of the bed. That bed is about 12 foot wide. So what was going on there, I don't know. But what I do know is that I was, I was happily downstairs having a drink and a discussion with a few people. Um, and Robin came down and said, Mark, will you come up and take a picture? I said, but you're in bed. It's your honeymoon. He said, yeah, I want some pictures. <laughs> you go up, you take the pictures. So I went up with, a, with my camera. Or was it Robin's camera? I can't remember now. And there, at the end of the bed, was some steps. So I'm looking at these steps, and he said, yes, you've got to get up the steps, and you've got to take the picture from above. And I just had a bottle of wine, so I, was <laughs> I wasn't very happy about it. But I took the picture, and it's the only picture I've ever published. That went in, in the Daily Mail, was it, Robin? I think it was in the Daily Mail. So there we go. But if we go back uh, to old Pegeta, um, as we look at it now, it's, um, we've turned it into a very good sustainable business. It's got the biggest herd of black rhinos in East Africa. It's got southern white rhinos. It's got the last remaining northern white rhinos. It's got good herds of elephants, um, good predator numbers. Um, it's got a conservancy now which covers the whole of, um, of the area of the conservancy, not just 30% as it did before. Uh, the game numbers have shot through the roof. We're doing something that people said we could never do, which is um, mix cattle and wildlife together. And it's worked very well. We're one of the biggest meat uh, quality meat producers in Kenya. We also grow wheat, and we've got a, a, um, a hotel there, or, or a camp now, which is in the, the world's top 500 hotel list. And this year, we made a million dollars. So, so this is conservation, sustainable conservation at its best, mixing up practices. We've had, it hasn't all been plain sailing. We've had rough times. We've had air times when there have been terrorism in Kenya and we've lost all our tourism. But the wheat and the cattle have kept up their end of the, the, the market. And we've, so we've, we've fared some of those rough times. And now at the moment, tourism, we've got 80% full all the time, 80% occupancy. We've got more um, demand for our meat than we can than we can provide, and we've got big demand for our wheat, and wheat's going up in Kenya. So two things that CRT have been involved with that um, one might not have known about. Um, <laughs> this is the hedge lane competition last week, which was very successful, I hear. Um, I'm just going to use that just to finish on and just say that you know, 25 years later, CRT has uh, a really talented and wonderful set of staff. It has 5,000 members. Uh, it has 12 farms, all running very well, I believe. Um, but it's got a lot more to go. And what next? Well, first of all, congratulations on the 25th anniversary and something to whet the appetite for the future, perhaps. Laxton Estate, 
one of the, the only remaining medieval estate in, in the country, and it's got a title that goes with it, Lord of the Manor. So, <laughs> so, and it's a snip at seven million. So um, we'll be coming back to you, I'm sure, in the near future. So think about digging deep. Thank you very much.